All right, konnichiwa, YouTube. Have a news no sokuho Japanese news flash uh, video for you. Uh, I've been practicing Japanese by trying to read the Japanese news. So here's a uh, news title. I just pulled into a uh, presentation chart. You're helpful. Uh, you can read along with me. Hopefully, this will be a good practice for both of us. This title starts off with these two characters. And it means Osaka, Osaka, the city. So I'm doing this on my iPad, and the nice thing about using the iPad is you can set up the built-in dictionary, highlight a word or some characters or even uh, multiple words, press the lookup, and it'll tell you what it is if it can find it. So at the top here, you can see Osaka when the hiragana there and next to that is the uh, kanji but There's a lot of characters there. So let's see what else we can find about Osaka So hopefully this will be not just Reading the news, but we'll learn some cultural information about Japan as well Here we go. Let's see Osaka is a large port city and commercial center on the Japanese island of Honshu It's known for its modern architecture nightlife and hearty street food the 16th century shogunate Osaka Castle, which has undergone several restorations, is its main historical landmark. It's surrounded by a moat and a park with plum, peach, and cherry blossom trees. Sumiyoshi Taisha is among Japan's oldest Shinto shrines. So here's just a, a blurry picture of the shrine with the city modern buildings in the background. Kind of a map of Osaka. So let's go back to uh, what we're reading. So Osaka, the first characters there. I guess the next three characters here are the area in the city of Osaka. But this first kanji is a character for north. You can look this up here. As you can see that, it's Kita. Kita means north. The next character is Nu. And so I guess if uh, you watch some of my other videos, we're talking about the uh, Shingata coronavirus. I guess this is the same character. Look that up. So I guess it's another reading as Sada, but also as Shin, New or Neo. And the next character means um, earth or soil. Look that up. So that's G the ground or chi down here, the earth, the ground, soil, a place. So putting these three together, it's Kita, North Shinchi, the North New Ground or New Area. So let's see what we can find out about uh, Kita Shinchi. Nothing immediately comes up. Let's do a web search. All right, so here we go. Here's something about the Kita Shinchi Station. You see the characters there? Kita Shinchi. Let's see what else we can find here. Here's looks like an Osaka information page. All right, here we go. Kita Shinchi. See the two neon signs on the left and the right top? Kita Shinchi. Uh, so a representative high-end entertainment district in northern Osaka. And there's some other information about it. It's located on the south side of the JR Osaka Station. And it's an island between the two rivers they mentioned there. But today it's called the Shinchi of the Northern Region, or Kita Shinchi for short. It's a gathering place for famous nightclubs and entertainment venues in the Osaka area. Just like Ginza in Tokyo, there are thousands of high-end bars, clubs, and restaurants. It's a good place for business people to entertain guests. Flashing neon lights and various billboards eliminate the long and narrow streets. Wow, that's a nice photo there of Kita Shinchi. All right, let's continue reading the headlines to get some more information. So we know we're in the city of Osaka, the area of Kita Shinchi. He's, uh, the katakana that you see coming up here uh, means kuriniku, kuriniku, or clinic, a clinic. So something's happened at a clinic in uh, the 
Kita Shinchi area of Osaka. Let's continue reading. So next we have these two characters mean Hoka, Hoka, or arson. There you go, Hoka, arson. Hmm. So now the picture's coming together. Hence to be another good time to look at some other resources we can use in trying to decipher what's happening. So I'll copy that and I have a Japanese dictionary on my iPad called Japanese. So let's paste that in here and see what we get. So Hoka. So the nice thing about this dictionary, it shows you some other components of the kanji. So as you can see down here, the kanji on the end means fire, and it sort of looks like some flames, right? Flames coming up, and the first um, character has parts of being a direction or person. I'd probably go with person, and the other one is to strike or to hit. So if we go back, so it looks like there's a person hitting something, and then there's fire. So maybe a way to remember this is maybe you have the person striking some flints or stone together, creating fire. Maybe a good way to try to remember that, but it's Hoka, Hoka. And the next uh, two characters are Satsujin, Satsujin, which mean murder, manslaughter. Um, so let's do the same thing. Let's um, copy that and let's uh, go paste that into the Japanese dictionary and see what comes up. Satsujin. All right, here we go. So the character on the end there again is sort of simple. It means person. It look, kind of looks like a person, right? Just without any arms. A person. And the first character means to kill or murder, which makes sense. And maybe the component parts here it says there's a tree, and then they're calling the uh, part on the right a weapon. I'd go with weapon. So here you can see. The bottom left, there's a tree under something, and then on the right, that's a weapon. So I would maybe look at that as on the right part, maybe like a man with his arm raised up in the air holding a hatchet and chopping down the tree, but he's also using it to maybe kill people. Satsujin. And this is the same um, Satsu character that's used in some other news article that I read. So when someone commits suicide, the word is jisatsu, jisatsu, to kind of make sense. So here we go again. Second character is satsu for kill, and the first character means self. So you're killing yourself. Makes sense? Jisatsu. But here we're satsujin or murder, so it's hoka satsujin. So the, the arson ended up killing people, and I read a, another art, article about this. I believe in the end, ultimately 25 people died because of this. And the last two characters mean jiken, jiken, or incident, event, jiken. So let's uh, do that one more time. Copy that. Let's look up these characters and see if it kind of helps us make sense of them. So the first character means like a thing or a fact. And you can't really break that down. We're just going to have to remember what that is. And the second one means a fair or case, but that can be broken down into... It says the first one is no translation. I just kind of look at that as like a person standing up. And then the second part is ushi or cow. So it's kind of a matter or a, a, with a, a case or a fair or jiken. So uh, I'm not sure maybe a good way to try to remember that. So maybe there's something, some kind of matter or case happened with a cow and a person. Uh, but I think the more you just see the word, you're going to remember it. So, so far we have Osaka Kita Shinchi no Kuriniku Hoka Satsujin Jiken. So there was a, a arson that resulted in arson event, Jiken, that resulted in murder. And let's continue with the uh, bottom row. Now these first four characters are the name of the person who's accused of setting fire to the clinic. clinic. 
And if you try to look this up, not much is going to happen. It's going to be kind of useless to look this up on the web because uh, for names of Japanese people, they can have multiple readings. But how about let's go use another resource. Let's um, copy this again and let's um, paste this into Google Translate and see what it comes up with. Enter the text, paste. Ah, so it's showing the name is Morio Tanimoto. Morio Tanimoto. So I have another resource we can try this with as well. I have another dictionary on here called Japanese, I mean Midori. So let's paste his name in here. I'll hit translate up at the top right. And you'll see it pulls up a glossary on the right and gives us um, some other alternate readings of these characters. So one at the top uh, in the middle is Tanimoto, but looks like it could also be read as Takimoto or Yamoto. In uh, the bottom, there's various readings of those two kanji. And the most important thing is we know that's his name. So we just continue in these next two characters means yogi like a suspect and at the bottom you'll see a suspect yogi and then that character next to next to it means sha yogi sha the suspect and so we can see that's exactly what we have here he's the yogi sha and a lot of times in the japanese news if you see numbers in parentheses that means the age of the person so he's um, 61 years old. Rokuju Isai Ga. And this means Nguyen. So he had to enter the hospital or was taken to the hospital. Nguyen. Nguyen. Nguyen Suru. Go into, be admitted to enter the hospital. So let's um, also look, look at this again and um, copy it into our dictionary and see what kind of component parts they have for Nguyen. And this first character means to enter, so it sort of looks like a person, but there's a something at the top pointing to the left, so this means to enter, so this is going to be good to know. Enter, insert, and then the second character, uh, it's not breaking that down in any parts, but it's going to mean institution or temple, school, so just some of these common compounds you see, I guess it's used in Bioin here for hospital, Bioin or Nguyen. That's the word we're just looking for, entering the hospital. Here's the one for leaving the hospital, Taiin. And it's also used for um, the Buddhist temple, Jiin. So it's some kind of, you know, institution or temple. So that first character, by the way, just means Buddhist temple. It can be pronounced Tera or G, so Jiin, Buddhist temple. All right, so let's go back to the article. So Nguyen, so he's admitted to the hospital, and this last character means previous or before, or can mean the future, Saki. So I think the correct definition here, it's not the future, but it's um, previous or before. And let's see where that is ahead of. So you can say various readings for this, but here we go. Previous, former. So we're going to go with previous. Nguyen Saki. So he was previously admitted to the hospital after the arson event. De, but sadly to say, this is these are the care of the word for um, for dying. Shibo. So after he was taken to the hospital, he ended up dying, I think like uh, four or five days later. I don't know if it was from smoke inhalation or what, but he ended up dying. So let's um, kind of highlight this. So I'll read it first. So we have Osaka Kita Shinchi no Kuriniku, Hoka Satsu Jinji Ken, the man's name. He was 60 years, one years old. Ga Nguyen Saki de Shibo. So um, there was an arson event at a clinic in the Kita Shinchi area of Osaka. And it was, I guess, an arson event that resulted in uh, killing people. 
and the suspect is his name here that we read 61 years old he was taken to the hospital but ended up dying so let's um copy this and paste this into google translate and see what it comes back with we should be really close so osaka kita shinchi clinic arson hoka murder jisatsu case jiken hoka jisatsu jiken morio tanimoto died shibo at the hospital nguin de so i think we were pretty close with that and um, here's just um, a reading with the furigana above the kanji. So if we want to practice reading this one more time. Osaka kita shinchi no kuriniku. Hoka satsujin jiken. Tanimoto morio yogisha. 61. Nyuin saki de shibo. So that's our... News no Sokuho Japanese news flash headline for today. Hope this was interesting and you learned um, some cultural information also about Osaka and Kita Shinchi. I'm doing this for practice. I'm definitely not fluent in Japanese. I just like reading the news to find out what's happening. So thanks for watching, reading along with me. I'll be producing some more of these videos. Hope they're going to be informative for you and you'll keep watching and so sayonara for now.